sometimes it's the stupid, stupid, simple stuff that uh, perplexes some people. And uh, I've been cleaning lenses for years. Well, not years. I've not been cleaning lenses for years. I've been cleaning lenses for decades. I was even working in an optical shop at the age of 14 and cleaning lenses, especially AR coated. Now, this is an uh, anti reflective coating on uh, this iMac. And I'm going to show you. Um, how to clean this uh, with uh, the proper way so you don't get streaks and, uh, and, uh, and marks on it. Um, it is a case that anti-reflective coating is actually a crystalline vacuum deposited coating. And uh, the issue that, that people have is that, let me uh, grab a, a cloth over here really quickly and I will show you what people do. And everybody does this. They'll buy a really nice lens cleaning cloth and they're all microfiber of some variety. And, you know, they've got their hands on it, and it's no bueno. <laughs> They're sitting there, turning it inside. And I've, I've seen this comment like a hundred times, and no one ever mentions it on YouTube, how to, like, clean, a, you know, a precision um, monitor or display like this. And they say, I always get streaks. It's like, as soon as you've touched it, and you've touched both sides, you've already got your hand oils on it. And, you know, they clean it a few times, they put it away, and they wonder why there's still streaks, and they use it. Every time you touch it, you're getting hand oils on it. What's the easy way around this? easy way. Uh, some people say, well, you want to clean off your hands with like isopropyl alcohol to get all the oils uh, off of your skin, and that is one valid thing, but as soon as you touch it and you've touched both sides, you've, you've got the hand oils back on it again, even if your hands are super duper clean. Uh, obviously, it's important to keep your hands clean, but what the easiest way to do is get a microfiber, a precision microfiber cloth, one that's marked uh, on one side. In other words, there's an image on one side that's different than the other. You only want to grab one side ever. And when you're done with it, you put it in your Ziploc bag. And when you reach into the bag to grab it, this sounds really anal. And people are like, are you kidding me? Well, believe it or not, like I said, I used to do tech support for Apple and get this question all the time. And I've not made a video on it, but I answered this question. And everybody said, oh my god, you know, you fixed the problem. I don't get streaks anymore on my monitor. You only ever touch one side. And the side that I touch is the mark side of this cloth. So you clean your monitor. Clean your display, excuse me. I say monitor because I'm old, right? Clean your, uh, this is an AR coded display on this iMac, which is, uh, is AR coding is extremely prone to show streaks of any kind. Once you're done with it, grab it and stick it back in your Ziploc bag and you're not going to have any issues. The only issue you would have is if you had some sort of really nasty stuff on the display where you would actually have to wash this. And that creates a whole other uh, bit of problems that uh, a lot of the laundry detergents, they uh, actually leave in residue. So once you actually get it out of the washing machine, how do you take care of that? Say you cleaned a really dirty monitor, your child w wiped his butt on it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> After you get it out of the washing machine, what you do is you take it, take a little bowl of a rubbing alcohol, and to take a, a little stick or like the back end of a fork and you swish it around the cloth in the rubbing alcohol and that will remove all that uh, that residue from the dishwashing detergent, not the dishwashing, but the laundry detergent and then you'll just drape it over something that is very very clean to dry and then you're good to go again. So that is how you get a streak-free monitor, and these are really picky. These are far, far, far. iMac displays are the absolute worst as far as showing up a streak. I mean, I need to sit here, even though my hands are super clean, and just touch it. And if I use this cloth, which I've actually handled both sides, I'll sit there and try to clean it, and I'll make it worse and try to clean again and make it worse. And this is what drives people crazy. They can never get it clean. And that is why they can't get it clean. If you follow what I told you to do, only touch one side, stick in the Ziploc bag, and how to clean it if you actually have to wash it by dipping it in a bowl of rubbing alcohol. 90% rubbing alcohol, 70% doesn't make any difference, i.e. rubbing alcohol, i.e. isopropyl alcohol from your drugstore, grocery store. That's how you take care of that. So always keep it in a Ziploc, always touch one side only, and if you have to wash it, use rubbing alcohol. Okay? Tip of the day. Um, I think I'm the only person on YouTube to answer that question accurately. And uh, this will work. Okay? Bye. This also works for your iPads, too, by the way. I forgot to mention, that's how you also clean your hair go to display on your iPad. Okay? Bye.